Stand with your feet away from the front of your mat. Feet wide, inner ankles as wide as the outer hips. Ground and rebound, reach to the top of your head up. Extend your arms straight forward. Hinge back, hips, knees, ankles. Come into a squat, hold the edges of the mats. Elongate the spine. Fingers touching the floor, lift the heels up, come into the high toes, knees up high. Bring your knees inside your arms, place them down into the floor, all five toes touching the mat, inner ankles as wide as the outside of the hips. Fold your feet back and sit into Virasana. Feet looking straight back, knees looking straight forward, hands together on the height of your sternum, fingers together and pointing up towards your chin. Head on a long neck, eyes are closed, connecting to your surroundings, observe the sensations throughout the body, notice how your body is weight bearing between left and right, spine is tall, shoulders relaxed, face is soft, chest is relaxed. Belly is relaxed. Connecting into the breath, lengthening the inhale. Lengthening the exhale. Feel the space of your lungs and see them in three sections, bottom, middle and upper. As you inhale, expand through the bottom, then the middle, then the upper lungs. As you exhale, emptying the bottom, then the middle, then the upper lungs. Observe the breath. Observe the posture. Finish your next exhale. And then bring your hands down into your hips. Index finger and a thumb touching. Fingers straight forward. Hands to the roots of your legs. Bring your chin down towards your chest. Apply three bandhas, Uddiyana Minor, below the navel. Energy is moving on the inhale, in and up. At the top of the inhalation, bring your chin down for Jalandara Bandha. Every time you exhale, keep your Mula Bandha activated. Lift your pelvic floor in and up. Contract your glottis. Uchai sound. Keep directing the breath through the layers of your lungs. Bottom lungs expanding, middle lungs expanding, upper lungs expanding. Smooth transition, emptying the bottom of your lungs, then the middle lungs, then the upper lungs. Observe the texture of the breath both on inhale and exhale. Observe the sound of the breath and observe the tempo of the breath as you're inhaling and exhaling. Ideally you would like to match the inhale and the exhale. After you completed your next exhale, looking straight forward, extend your arms on top of your knees forward, arms are active. Spine is lengthening. Maintain the Uchai sound through the rest of the practice. Five breath in Varasana, hero pose. From here, without pushing into your hands, lift your hips up, tuck your toes under the feet, all five toes, the base of the toes touching the floor, arms along the side of the body, weight is resting between the feet, the knees and the hips, gaze are looking straight forward. Five breaths here again.
Once you've finished your next exhale, lift your knees up, come into the high squat. Arms are inside your knees, fingers slightly touching the floor. This is a good time to reorganize your feet, check that the feet are on the same plane. Hips slightly lifting up, elongate through the spine and looking straight forward. Remain present, observe the body, observe the sensations and the breath. After the exhale is completed, lower the heels down into the floor. You might need to use the edges of the mats holding onto them to place the heels back down. Once your heels are touching the floor, you can take your hands into Anjali Mudra, prayer position, hands together, roughly on the height of your sternum. Your arms are pushing slightly inside your knees and you keep elongating through the spine. Again, gaze, drishti, looking forward. Finish your exhale, extend your arms forward, even way through the feet, knees tracking over the ankles and slowly come up to standing. Walk yourself to the front of your mat, Tadasana. Feet together, big toes touching, inner ankles touching. Pull the knees up, ground and rebound and lengthen through the top of your head up. Turn your palms away, inhale, reach up. Back of your hands touching, exhale, strong legs felt forward and down. Hold the legs. Inhale, pull your spine out of your legs. Extend the chest away and look up. Exhale, look down again to your shins and place your palms down into the floor. Fingers looking straight forward, hands shoulder wide. Step back, right leg and left, down dog. Lift your heels, come down into your knees, knees under the hips. Inhale into cow, lengthen your sternum and tailbone away from each other. Exhale into cat, push into your palms, pull the ribs and chest, round it up, pull the stomach in. Inhale again, lengthen the tailbone and the chest away. And exhale, coming into cat pose, moving your tailbone and your sternum closer to each other, rounding the spine like a cat. Finish your exhale. Lift the knees off the floor, coming into Down Dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. We're going to stay in Down Dog for five breaths. The weight is even between each hand and foot, 25% on each. Keep scissoring in with your arms, grounding and rebounding, lengthening the energy from the palms through the spine into your hips, lengthen your spine, lower the heels. From here, lean slightly forward, bring your right knee to your chest and step it forward between your hands back to the front of your mat. Left leg steps through, hold the legs, inhale, extend the chest away. Exhale, come down again, stretch your spine down and inhale, lift up, reach the arms up and over your head, fingers come together at the top, back of your hands touching. Exhale, hands come down again into Tadasana Mountain Pose. And again, Surya Namaskar, Sun Salutation 2. Inhale, reach up, big stretch. Back of your hands touching, grow a little taller, keep extending. Exhale, fold forward and down, strong legs. Hold the legs. Inhale, soft skin of the elbows forward, collarbones broad, extend the chest away. Body weight over the insteps, strong legs. Exhale, fold forward and down. Keep moving your pelvis over the femur bones, rotate it forward. Hands to the floor, palms touching. Right leg stepping back, left leg stepping back, down dog. Finish your breath, lift your heels, bring your knees down into the floor. Into cow. Lift your tailbone and sternum away, stretch up, eyes looking up. Exhale into cat, rounding the spine. Feet are grounded, inner ankles connected, not touching but scissoring slightly in. Inhale, extend the chest away and exhale, draw the abdominal wall in and up, pull the ribcage in and up and round into a cat. 
strong arms, finish your exhale, down dog again. Scissoring in through your arms and legs, keep extending the hips away, stretching the back of the calves, pull the knees up, stay connected into the breath. Finishing your exhale, leaning forward, shoulders come over the hands, bring your right knee to your chest and step your right leg through, bring your left leg through, hold onto the leg, inhale again, elongate through the chest, collarbones broad and exhale, folding forward and down, relax your diaphragm and your floating ribs, soft face. Let go of the arms, inhale, reach up, big reach, arms are active, hugging the muscles into your bones. Reach a little taller, open up the arms again, palms, turning around, hands come to the sides, Tadasana body. And we go again, reach the arms up and over, palms at the top, touching fingers together. Back of your hands touching, grow taller, strong legs, pull the knees up, exhale, fold down. Body weight over the insteps. Sitting bones stretching away from the heels, extend the chest away, stretch your sternum forward and up, access your middle and upper thoracic spine. Exhale, come forward and down, rotating the pelvic bones over the femur bones. Palms flat into the floor, fingers looking forward, shoulder wide, hands step back, right and left, down dog. From down dog, lift your heels again, come down onto your knees and this time bring your hips closer to your heels, sit back, bring your elbows down into the floor, interlace your fingers into each other, right index finger on top of the left bottom pinky finger, in this case the left, fold it underneath, scissoring in through your arms and lift your knees off the floor, heels high. Head is off the floor, this is Advadanta Shirsasana, Dolphin Pose. We're scissoring through your arms, the weight is even between the wrists and elbows. And we keep lifting the chest, extending the chest and the hips away as we're pulling the heels and the legs into your hips, into your core. Strong through the body. Present with the breath. This is a heated inversion. Finish your exhale and then sit back into child's pose balasana. For balasana, touch first the hips onto your heels, lengthen the ribcage over the knees and thighs forward, hands by your hips, shoulder wide hands, palms facing up. Head can touch the floor, doesn't have to touch. More importantly it is that you keep lengthening through the ribcage and through the spine. Finish your exhale, bring your hands back forward to the front of your mat and come up into down dog again. For down dog your feet are always sitting on with apart. Step forward, bring your right leg forward between your hands, bring your left leg forward between your hands. Hold on to the legs and elongate again, scissoring in through your inner thighs, pulling those knees up, extend the chest away. Exhale, come forward and down. Let go of the legs, sweep the arms up, bleeding with the pinky finger and reach up, lengthen. Back of your hands touching, continue to elongate the spine, stretch your inner thighs and your quadricep muscles. Hands come down to the hips, Tadasana body. Standing postures next. Our first standing posture, Tadasana mountain pose. Big toes touching, inner ankles touching, slightly gap between the heels. 
the ground and rebound. Squeeze the inner thighs against each other, scissor them in, pull the knees up. Tennis balls between your arms and ribcage, pointed fingers and the top of your head is reaching away. Next posture, Parshvatadasana, side mountain pose. Turn your palms away from the body and reach the arms over your head. Inhale here and then exhale, lean into the left side to stretch the right side of the body. The weight is even between the left and right foot. We're scissoring, we're grounding and rebounding. Both arms are lengthening equally long. So you're drawing the left arm in, right arm over. Inhale, return to the center. And exhale into the right side to stretch the left side of the body. Again, weight is even, grand rebound. And keep elongating through the entire spine. The stronger you work your legs, the more you can access the spine. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale takes you back up to center. Reach tall, back of your hands touching, and exhale, hands come down to the side. Jumping out to the right side, feet wide, open up your arms, activate your arms, reach with the fingers away, feet underneath the hands, scissoring and grounding and rebounding. Into Parshvatrikanasana, turn your palms up to the ceiling, inhale, Exhale up and over to the left to stretch the right. Once the left hand touches, you turn your palm back in. Keep extending from your right foot through your right fingertips away. Turn the spine slightly up. Look with your chest and gaze up to the ceiling or to the sky. Inhale, returning back to the center. Palms up. Exhale, palms down. Ground rebound, elongate through the spine, arms active. Turn your palms again up, inhale, up and over this time to the right to stretch the left. Right hand turns in, left arm keep extending away. Rotate the spine slightly up and look slightly up. Check that the weight is even through the feet, strong through the legs, scissoring as you're elongating through the spine. Feel your breath. Finish your exhale. Inhale takes you back to center. And jump to the front. Back into Tadasana. Next posture. Parshvakanasana. Jump out again. Feet underneath your hands. Strong through the legs. Hugging the muscles into your arm bones. You're turning your left foot out, internal rotating your left femur, ticking your right foot, turn it out, right femur externally rotating. Bending the right knee, bring your right knee on top of your right ankle, and then bring your right forearm on top of the middle of the thigh. Keep extending through your left fingers. Turn your left palm up to the ceiling, lift the left arm over your head. Keep grounding through your left standing foot, through your left leg, and then keep extending the left arm away. Lift out of your right shoulder. Collarbones are opening up with rotation of the thoracic spine. Turn it up. Your chest and your eyes up to the ceiling or to the sky. Finish your exhale. Inhale, come up back to the center. Turn your feet back to the center. And other side. Take your right foot, turn it around. Take your left foot, turn it around. Lifting through your hips up, lengthen through the crown of your head away. Bend your left knee, bring your left forearm on top of your thigh. Fingers are pointed, karate chop arm. Right hand, turn it up and take it over your head by your ear. Now as you're grounding again through your right leg, extend through your right arm away. As you're grounding through your left forearm, lift out through your left shoulder. Upward rotation of the spine. With each inhale, you're elongating. With each exhale, you're grounding. Present with the breath. Finish your exhale. Inhale. Come back through the stages. Come up to standing. Turn your feet back. And jump back into the front of your mat.
Tadasana again, mountain pose. One breath here. Jumping out again to the right side for Parivirtra Parshvakanasana, revolved side angle stretch. Feet underneath your hands. This time turn your left foot more around, take your right foot more around, turn yourself 90 degrees. Strong through your legs, lengthen through the spine. Bend your right knee, bring your left knee down into the floor, keep your left toes grounded. Start rotating your left rib cage forward, right rib cage behind. Reach with your left arm around and then place it onto your right thigh. Right hand turns up to the ceiling, reach it back and place it into your sacrum plate. Keep elongating again, so strong legs lengthen the spine away. Right rib cage turns upward, left rib cage rotates inward, lengthening through the spine away. Focusing on the thoracic rotation, so rib cage rotating, lungs rotating. Finish your exhale, open up your arms again, come back through the center, strong legs and lift back up, turn your feet back, other side, right foot, right knee, right hip, left foot, left knee, left hip, arms on each side of the body, bending the left, bringing your right knee down into the floor, lifting through your iliac crest up, front of your hip bones, and then keep rotating, right rib catch lengthening away, left rib catch rotates back, right forearm comes on top of your thigh, left hand turn it up to the ceiling, reach it back, stretch it and place it onto your sacrum plate. Common things to watch for here, that we're not collapsing into that right arm and shoulders, we keep lifting so you can access that upper thoracic spine. Rotating the left rib catch around, right rib catch inward, Sternum is extending, gaze looking over the left into the space. Finish your exhale, open up your arms, return the spine to the center, strong legs, lift the knees up. Come back, turn your feet around, lift your iliac crest, front of your hip bones, jump to the front. Tadasana again. Inner ankles touching, spread your toes, ground rebound. Inhale, reach up over your head, at the top fingers come together, open up the shoulders, back of your hands touching, grow taller, exhale, fold forward and down into our last standing posture, which is Uttanasana forward bend. You can either hold onto your legs here, or if your hamstrings are longer, you can place your palms down into the floor. Keep leaning towards the toes or towards your hands. Heels reaching through the ground as your sitting bones reaching away. Keep rotating the pelvis over the femur bones. Lengthening on inhalation. Falling forward and down on our exhalation. Finish the exhale, hold back onto the legs. Inhale, extend forward and up, half forward bend, look up at your chest. Exhale, fold back down again into Uttanasana forward bend. Palms touch the floor. Step back, right leg and left. Down dog. From down dog, we're going to come into our arm balancing posture, into plank, Ardha Chaturanga Dandasana, high plank. Bring your shoulders over the hands, distribute your weight evenly, Hasta and Padabandha, tone the buttocks, lift the iliac crest, Tadasana body, core contraction, hug the muscles onto the bones, keep reaching the crown away, finish the exhale. And come back into down dog. Five breaths here again. And then we're going to step or jump forward to sit back onto your mat. 
keep your legs straight, bring your heels in line with the front of your mat, sitting on your mat. Hands by the side of your hips, lift your pelvis up, pubic bone back and then plant your sitting bones down into the floor. Keeping your feet flexed, point your chin down to your chest for Jandra Bandha. Chin lock, hands underneath your shoulders. Keep elongating the spine up, strong legs, squeezing the inner thighs together, feet are flexed. Next posture, Paschimottanasana Western Stretch. Fold your hips further down, bring your hands either to the height of the knees on each side of the mat or into the height of your shin bones. Hands flat, pushing your palms down through the floor, pulling the chest and the spine away, head is in a long neck. Five breaths here. And then fold a little further down, bring your hands now closer to your feet, still on the mat. Keep stretching the back of your hamstrings here and activating the quadriceps through the front of the thighs. With the inhalation, elongate, lengthen the ribcage away from the thighs. On the exhalation, draw the pelvis closer into your femur bones. Soft face, relax the roof of your mouth. Complete your exhale. Coming back up to seated, into Dandasana, back into our staff pose. One breath here. Next posture, Purvatanasana, Eastern Stretch. Bend your knees. Bring your feet down into the floor. Bring your hands behind your hips, one hand distance away from the fingertips to the hips. Pinky fingers on the edge of the mat. Strong three legs, sitting bone width apart with your feet. Lift your hips off the floor, tailbone to pubic bone. Strong through your arms and lift the hips and the ribcage on the height of your knees so you have a coffee table. And then double chin, releasing your head back. Keep reaching your knees away, pulling the shin bones up, opening up the chest and the collarbones, opening up the throat. Strong through the back legs, toning your hamstrings, toning your buttocks. Finish your exhale, then bring your hips back down underneath your ribs, then bring your ribs forward, then the chest head is last. And then come back into Dandasana. So the Dandasana is the hop posture in the seating sequence. We can st stay here for one breath or sometimes maybe a couple extra breaths. Just stay present with your body, stay connected into the breath. And then from here we're going to move into our next sitting posture, Sukhasana, easy cross-legged pose. Hook your legs up, knees bent. Bring your right foot underneath the left and then bring your right leg around the left shin bone. Feet should be roughly underneath your knees. Feet are flexed. Hands into Jana Mudra, index and the thumb touching again, chin pointing down. Sitting bones grounded, keep elongating through the spine, lengthening the spine out of your hips. With each exhale, aiming to bring your knees closer into the floor. Finish your exhale this time, fold forward more. Walk your hands as far as you can forward. Keep your feet flexed. Hasta Bandha action in your hands, so activating the energy in your hands and arms. And then keep stretching away, so with the inhalation, lengthening and lengthening, stretching out. And then exhaling, folding forward and down. Aim to bring your armpits into the floor before the head reaches down into the floor. Present with the breath. Finish the exhale, come up to seated. Unhook your feet, extend them away, back into Dandasana. One or a couple extra breaths here. And then coming back again, hook your legs up. This time you're gonna take your right foot underneath the left, left shin bone over the, in front of the right shin bone. Feet are flexed. Jana Mudra hands. Jana Bandha chin lock. On the inhalation, we're elongating through the spine, Uchayi breath. On the exhalation, we're aiming to bring the knees closer to the floor. 
finish the exhale, lean forward and down. Stretch away the hands, walk them away, aiming to bring your armpits into the floor. With the inhalation, extending the ribcage out of those legs, out of those hips. Exhale, softening the diaphragm and your floating ribs. You should feel a glute stretch here on the leg which is at the front. And finish the exhale, come back up again to seated, unhook your legs, straighten your legs to straight, coming back into the Dandasana staff pose. Next posture, Bhadakanasana bound angle pose. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees apart. Interlace your fingers. Today is the right side. Bring your right index finger on top of the left. Hook your hands behind your feet. Hold on to the feet and then keep elongating again through the spine away. Chin is pointing down for Jandra Bandha. Aiming to have your knees down into the floor without rounding your spine. Five breaths here. Then extend your feet a little bit away from your pelvis. So it's a hand distance between the heels and your pelvis. This time, butterfly your feet, hold the thumbs into the arches of the feet. And then start pushing your elbows into the inside of your legs. A little pressure applied. And as you're grounding those forearms, those elbows into your legs, keep elongating the chest away. We're aiming to bring the chest and your diaphragm over the feet and eventually the chest and the head down into the floor. Finish, extend the legs away, back into the Andasana staff pose. Looking straight forward. And the next posture is Virasana Hero Pose. So we're hooking the legs up, bring your feet down into the floor. And then roll over the toes and bring your knees and shin bones down into the floor, sitting into Virasana. Chin is pointing down. So we're aiming to get the pelvis down into the floor elongating through the spine. It's technically a back bend, so keep tipping your pelvis forward, elongating through the spine up. Jalandara Bandha Chin in. Finish your five breaths, looking straight forward and then coming back through the squat sequence. Lift the hips, tuck your toes under, lift the knees, bring your heels down into the floor, use the edges of the mats too if you need to. And then sit down again and extend the legs to straight. This time feet flexed at the front of your mat, inner thighs connected, reach the arms over your head. Exhale, start coming forward and down, hands coming along the side of the body as you lower yourself all the way down into your mat. Make sure you're fully on the mat, so heels and head both on the mat. Turn your palms up to the ceiling, lift the arms up. Turn your palms to your feet, stretch them over your head. We're coming into Eka, Pada, Urdhva, Prasarita, Padasana, single leg lift. This is your abdominal work. Bend your left knee, place your left foot opposite from the right knee down into the floor and lift your right leg into 30 degrees, foot is flexed. Keep as much of your back onto the floor as you can, strong through that right quadricep, reaching through your right heel away. Next stage, lift your right leg up to 60 degrees. Keep grinding through your left opposite leg. Knee into the center, not out to the side. Ground your hips. Five breath in each position. And then lift it up to 90 without lifting the pelvis off the floor. Keep your foot flexed, reaching with that heel up to the sky. As you're reaching, you're sitting bones down into the ground at the same time really stable through your pelvis. Five breaths here again, then come back into the 60 and we hold the 60, five breaths again. And then last stage, bringing the leg back to 30 degrees, keep flexing your foot, keep extending through your arms away, 
hold your spine firmly against the floor and then place the leg all the way down into the floor. Extend the legs, check you're still in the middle of the mat. Then bring your right leg up, right foot down into the floor opposite from the left knee. Lift your left leg 30 degrees off the floor. Your left foot is flexed. Stomach and thigh muscles to hold the leg up. Five breath here. And then take it up to 60. The 60 is the thighs roughly on the same height. Keep flexing through your left foot, stomach and thigh to hold the leg up. Head is on the long neck, chin is pointing to the chest. Holding the leg in 90. And then coming back through the stages again, 60 first. Keep your right foot grounded into the floor. Check that the right knee is not falling out to the side. And then lower it back down to 30, hold it here. Keep your spine against the floor, bottom rib cage connected in, bottom sternum connecting into the navel. And slowly place the leg all the way down into the floor. Take your arms up to the ceiling, turn the palms to each other and open them sideways out to the side, hands on the height of the shoulder. Bring your right foot and leg up, place your right foot on top of the left thigh and then twist over to the left side. Place your left hand on top of your right thigh and then turn your right ear towards the ground. Look with your eyes over to the right hand. This is in a twist position, Supta Parivirta Merundandasana, supine spinal twist. Elongating the spine on an inhale and twisting into the space that you created on an exhale. Returning back to the center, place your left leg up this time on top of the right thigh, twist around, hook your left toes onto the floor, hold onto the right leg and look with your eyes and your left ear to the left side. Keep extending through your left fingers away. Your right leg is engaged, your right foot is flexed. Finish your exhale, return again back to the center. Lift your arms up to the ceiling, turn the palms to your feet and then inhale, lift up and come up to seated. Roll the spine up as you're coming up. Slide yourself a little forward to the front of your mat. Lift the legs, cross your right leg in, left leg in, palms into the floor and then step back into down dog. Lift your heels, come down again onto your knees. Inhale into cow, soft skin of the elbows is rotating forward, and then exhale into cat. Tailbone reaches down onto your knees. Inhale, move the breath through the space of the spine. Inhale and exhale. Lifting the knees off the floor and then coming again into down dog. A couple breaths here, five breaths, or maybe a little longer. And then come back again, heels lifting up, come down into your knees, fold your feet back this time, wiggle yourself to the back of your mat. Sit on top of your shin bones and lift the shin bones and the knees up. Aim to bring your thighs high into the chest and balance on your feet here, stretching your knees up. You're going to get a stretch here through the front of your shins. Then place the knees down into the floor, walk your hands forward and lie yourself onto your belly. 
feet together, ankles together, stabilize your pelvis and extend your arms straight forward. Lift the chest of the floor, lift your arms off the floor. Bring your forearms into the mat, elbows underneath your shoulders, scissoring in, strong legs, lift the knees off the floor, lift the belly off the floor and keep extending the front body away, working the back body to stretch the front body, gaze looking straight forward. And then slide your arms closer in, lift the arms off the floor, thumbs on the height of your nipples, hands off the floor. Continue to extend the chest away, Ardha Bhujangasana, half cobra pose. Palms touching the floor, shoulders away from your ears, lift the chest of the floor, navel is still touching, knees of the floor, gaze looking straight up. Five breaths and then lift the next layer up, now lift the navel of the floor, Keep moving the shoulders away from your ears as you're extending the head and the neck away from the spine. Coming back through the stages, lower down slightly, navel touches. And come a little further down, lift the hands again off the floor. Five breaths here again. Extend your arms back forward. Aim to have your arms by your ears, one breath, and then bring them back again towards your hips this time, palms off the floor, lifting the legs of the floor, feet together, coming into Salabhasana, Locust Pose. Drishti, look up and over the eyebrows. Five breath with the feet together, then five breath with the legs apart, aiming to lift the feet, the knees and the chest off the floor as high as you can. Five breaths here, feet come back together and then lie into your stomach, push back into down dog. Couple breath cycles here, inhale consciously, exhale consciously and then again walk forward or jump forward to sit. And when you sit this time, bring your knees over the front of the mat, feet together, feet flexed, lift the arms up and nose to your chin, chin to your chest and start rolling yourself back down onto the mat. Squeeze the inside of your legs and smoothly place your spine down into the floor, hands by your hips. Bend your knees, bring your heels close into your hips. You should be able to touch lightly with your fingertips your heels and your feet are a little wider than the sitting bones apart. Setu Bandhasana, one bridge pose. Hold onto the edges of the mats and lift the hips off the floor. Stretching your shin bones away from your feet, stretching your knees over the shin bones. Walk your shoulders under the spine and keep lifting your chest and your sternum up as you're grinding the weight evenly through your triceps, shoulders in the back of the head, keep extending the chest away. And then lower your spine back down into the floor, extend your legs to straight. Check that you're in the middle of the mat, feet together, strengthen stomach and thigh muscles, lift the legs all the way up to 90, a little push into your arms and now take your feet over your head behind you. Place your toes down, turn the arms up to the ceiling, lift the arms up to the ceiling. Walk your shoulders under, right and left. And then place your arms back down into the floor, palms facing up. Then turn them down, hold the edges of the mats, walk your shoulders a little bit more under. Bend your elbows and then place your hands, fingers on each side of the spine and hands against the rib cage. Lift your ribcage out of your arms, out of your shoulders and start lifting the legs both at the same time together up into the sky. You're coming into Salamba Sharvangasana shoulder stand. In shoulder stand the weight is even between the arms, the upper arms, the shoulders and the back of the head, C7 is off the ground. We're aiming to have your hips fully extended, so your legs are an extension from the spine. 
feet are flexed, scissoring in, hugging the muscles into your leg bones, toning your buttock muscles. On the inhalation, keep elongating the spine, especially the thoracic spine, out of those shoulders. And with the exhalation, again, ground the weight between the upper arms, the shoulders, and the back of the head. We're staying here up to 25 breaths. It is a cooling inversion. And it is known that this pose is calming and soothing for the nervous system at the end of our practice. Once you've finished your 20 to 25 breaths, you start bringing your feet with control consciously back again down into the floor behind your head. Touch the toes down, walk them a little bit in, pull those knees up and lift the sitting bones one more time away. Keep drawing your legs into your pelvis, lifting the heels up. Then release the arms, palms still facing up, lifting them up, turn the palms away from your face and stretch them over your head by your feet. Lift both legs at the same time up and with control start placing segmentally the spine back down onto the mat, strong through your legs. Lower your legs down into the floor, stomach and thighs to protect your spine. Lift your arms up to the ceiling, turn the palms to your face, bringing your hands down into the floor. Walk your hands under the hips, forearms into the floor, lightly push into your arms, feet are together, feet flexed, and then stretch your belly, stretch your chest and the collarbones back. Head might touch the floor here, it might not. Pressing lightly into your forearms to lift the chest away. Stretching the front body, Matsyasana fish pose. Then flatten your spine back into the floor. Lift the arms up to the ceiling and then lift up your head, lift up your chest and then come into seated. Wiggle yourself full and back again into the center of your mat and lower yourself back down. Check that you're on the mat, both feet and head is on the mat. We're setting up for a final pose, Shavasana, the relaxation pose. Knees can be bent slightly first, tilt your pelvis and flatten the lower back into the floor. Walk your shoulders under the spine, extend your arms away, extend both legs. Check that you're in the middle of the mat the same distance from the edges of the mat to your feet and the head is on a long neck. Close your eyes and let the body relax into the ground. In Shavasana, we're processing the practice on a cellular level. Feel each point of contact with the floor becoming heavier and yet you feel light on the inside. There are three key areas in the body that we want to relax. Once those three key points are relaxed we can extend the relaxation into the rest of the body. So relax your face soft eyes, feel as if your eyebrows are sliding off the face, relax the corners of your mouth, soft tongue, relax your belly in the breath, soft chest, let go of the weight of your arms and fingers. Let go of the weight of your legs and feet. Feel the outer space. 
Feel the inner space. Feel your body relaxing deeper and deeper. Notice if one side is feeling higher up than the other. Usually the side which is feeling higher is the side where the body stores more tension. Without judging and just start noticing and maybe evening the feedback between the two sides of the body. Breath is relaxed. Belly is relaxed. Relax your pelvic floor. Relax the kidneys. Relax the lungs. And feeling this relaxation respond this warm, soft feeling spreading through your mouth and into the rest of the body. And then gently wiggle your toes, your fingers, waking up the body slowly. Bend your left knee, take your right arm over your head and roll into the right side of the body. Left hand in front of the chest. Take a little rest here and then come up to seat. Finishing your practice by sitting in any comfortable position of your choice as long as your spine is upright. Bringing your hands back together into Anjali Mudra in front of your sternum. Eyes are closed, face is relaxed. And we're staying in that meditative state Observing the body, giving thanks to the body, giving thanks to yourself for your practice, for showing up for yourself. And to finish the practice, we're going to chant OM together three times. So it's a long inhalation to begin. And again. And one more time, deep inhale.
Then bring your thumbs to your forehead, bow the head forward and fold forward and down. Hands to your heart as you bend forward. And then bring your hands back into your forehead and come up to seated. Namaste.